beyond you know, what I'm trying to do today. So it's not that. But think about what's inside the pigment, what's inside the water, why they don't bind together. I mean, if you cook, you should. If you cook even just a little bit, you should know about that. A little bit. It's really about cooking, in a way. <laughs> it is. I'm sorry. Um, what was the name of the uh, fallow? Cyanine green. The pigment, right? The pigment's name? Phallocyanine green. Made from basically carbon with a copper inside, but really insignificant. You know, basically we could say, for the sake of this demo, it's pure carbon, made, made of carbon, uh, hydrogen, nitrogen. You know, organic, pig, organic compounds are made basically from carbon, but yeah. you also find a lot of uh, oxygen, nitrogen, and hydrogen inside of them too. Because if <coughs> So you have water in the pigment? Actually, there might be a little bit inside that pigment because there is moisture in the air, right? So there is water all around us. But then again, that's too complicated to me. You're trying to figure out why it doesn't match. Uh, yeah, you're trying. That's good. You're thinking out loud. I, I think out loud all the time. <laughs> when we're making the paint at the, at the warehouse and uh, we're having a problem, I'm like talking to myself, and the guy working thinks I'm giving him things to do, and he's like, what? You know, it's <laughs> happening to me all the time. That's <laughs> so the best way to think. Mm -hmm. Nice color. Why doesn't it mix? I think there's an answer. Oh, there's an answer, I'm sorry. Oh, well, I was just thinking because the inorganic ones are a lot heavier than the water. Oh my god. You'll have to give it to me again. Sorry, the inorganic one is like heavier than dense, and the organic one is kind of like oil and water. That's so good. But she said the word dense. Density is something important in everything you do. Density is basically the measure of the weight. For example, I weigh 160 pounds, that or 74 kilograms, whatever. That's a measure of weight. And then there is the measure of space. Maybe I occupy like one square meter. If you can shrink me down to a, a form, maybe that's my volume. So density is when you're talking about the two of them together. In uh, normal room temperature, water, as a density of one gram per cc. One gram per cc. Cc is cubic centimeter. One centimeter this way, one this way, and one this way. Do you remember uh, the small cubes yeah. when we were kids? That's a cc. That's also a milliliter, by the way. When you are buying a liter of milk, you are buying a volume of milk. You are buying a liter, it's a volume. When you are buying a pound of dried um, uh, beans, you are buying weight. It doesn't matter the volume. Do you understand? But in the case of science, you can talk about volume and you can talk about weight, but it really makes more sense when we talk about them together. And that we call density. So the weight per volume. What she said was, basically, the density of this pigment is higher than the density of this pigment. This one is lighter because it's made from carbon, oil, whatever. And in the case of water, it's kind of in between. Basically, that's my density chart. Heavy, middle, and very light. That's why this one is flowing on the water. Because it's lighter than you guys get it? Mm -hmm. If you go into the, the river here and you go to bay, of course you're gonna you're gonna go inside the water easy, but if you fill your lungs, okay, then you're gonna come on top because your overall density is changing when you have air inside of your lungs. You're kind of lighter for the same volume. If you go to bait in the Dead Sea, where there's a lot of salt in the water, the density is in, of the water is higher, so you're going to float. 
This is all about density. So, a good way to know if what you have is an organic or an inorganic pigment is just to put it in water like this. If the pigment is flowing, you know you have an organic pigment. If the pigment is wetting right away, you know you have an inorganic pigment. If it's floating, you know you have a non-toxic pigment to work with. <coughs> right? Everybody with me? Yes? Great. So, how could I wet it? <laughs> what do you think would be the, the way to do it at this point? Uh, adding the binder right away? Is yeah. that what you said? Oops. It's not adding the binder right away. You need to wet it in something different than the water. Is it alcohol? I'm sorry. Is it alcohol? Yeah, could be. It's one of them. Actually, that's the best. That's the one we put on the website to, uh, to tell people you know how to do it. It's basically the easiest way because if I have alcohol like here, and alcohol and water mix mixes, right? You guys know that? I don't know. This one. <laughs> if uh, if I have alcohol and I put alcohol here, I'm just gonna make a different one because I want to demonstrate something else. Where is it? Oh. Because alcohol has a lighter density than water. And I can mix water and alcohol together. Right? See, I'm adding the water right now. And the pigment, because it's already been wet, in the alcohol will transfer to the water. Now, the other way I could do it, and that's kind of like, not really the way you're going to do it in the studio, but it's just something I want to show. is you can use something to that the pigment is going in now where I put the salt. Might be a little hard to see. I'm going to do another one. <coughs> of course, don't think you have to do this every time. This is a demo. Just going to do it one more time here, okay? With water. Ah, there it is. Of course, fallow, yeah, now it's touched. <laughs> but fallow on the water doesn't mix, and then, <laughs> You see it's going in now? Mm. <laughs> yeah. That's good. I have another salt here, but this kind of cheap salt works better for what I want to do. So why? <laughs> it's a little bit like that, but it's true that salt, salt is um, a little, you know, salt is made from oil, you know, to start from. So it's kind of true, but basically, I want to hear another idea.
ideas. That's a good idea, by the way. I, I'm not going to give you the answer right away, but anybody...